Right, just as I stopped the video, my memory stick turned up, my extra RAM, my 4 gigabyte RAM, that's turned up. So what we're going to do now, before I even put it down now, is we're going to install the RAM. So with that, I'm going to get on with it. Right, I've removed the uh, two screws. So now what we need to do is take all these out. And then we've got to try and yank it forward a bit, somehow. Oh, here it comes. It's coming. There you go. And then, once it's released, go sideways. Like so. There you go. Right, so that come off easy enough. And, uh, yeah, you can see what, what it looks like in its bare bones. So there's where your four hard drives go. Uh, there's your M.2s, takes two. And here's your extra RAM. So you, there's one RAM stick and the other one should go in now. So we're going to fit the other RAM stick. And here it is, I haven't even opened it yet. So uh, terror open. Should be a strip here somewhere, but there it goes. Like Christmas, isn't it? Move that out of the way. So where did I get this from? This, uh, again, I got it from Amazon. This is crucial, I believe, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, it's crucial. Like I said, it's the same same uh, size as the one that's already in there. Uh, so it's four gig. Yeah, it says on there four gig. So yeah, eighteen sixty-six, whatever it is. 1866, yep, so it should fit perfectly. Tiny little things, didn't they? They're only little baby things. Let me just quickly show you, in case you want to have a look. Nothing much to see on the back, but you might like it. There you go. All right, so we're going to fit this in. So put it down on its side. Make sure you get the slot in the right way around, and it's on the left, so it's got to go like that. It should just push in. It's just like doing a um, laptop. Snap her in. Once you snap her in, you push her down, and that's it. So that's all locked in place. And I'll just quickly show you. See, that's the new one. That's the old one. And that one, the Synology one's got a sticker on it. It's saying Synology, and obviously mine is, hasn't. But yeah, it should be compatible. Uh, I can't see a problem, but we will find out in the future. So I'm going to put it all back together. So that was, what, a couple of minutes? Didn't take long, did it? I do believe that some people have had problems putting these back together and taking them apart. Right, so it's only plastic. I found it quite easy. Whether I was just lucky, I don't know. So I think it went in sideways like that, didn't it? We will find out in a second. come forward didn't it and then we slid it back so that's that and I oh, think didn't, didn't quite get the bottom one in so get the bottom one in as well we okay there you go that's it feel it now so it's nicely flush pushed it back oh, I thought that was quite easy to do actually so you just pull it forward a little bit and then move it sideways that was it so then screw it back up So that's all that done. Remember, you have to remove these first before you try and take it out. So we're going to try and put all these back in now. Oops. Again, make sure you've got these out. Don't have them like that because it won't work. Or you won't get them back in. And it's only because I watched a couple of videos myself that I know all this. I'm not trying to tell you that I know what I'm talking about. This is the Western Digital NAS drive, and this is 6 terabytes. At the current time, they do up to 12 terabytes, but I couldn't afford that one. There's a lot of money. So they do a range of from 1 terabyte right up to 12 terabytes. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, and a 12. That's what they do at the moment. And this is component box. And basically what it means is 
it's not in a flashy box, you know, when you go and buy a retail box, it's not in a box, it's just in this box, just to be sent, probably uh, bubble wrapped or something like that, like I say, I haven't opened it yet, as you can see, but yeah, it won't be in a retail box, you don't really need it in a retail box, I know, I know what I've ordered, and why would you buy something like this, so the reason you might buy something like this, and I'll read it out to you, Designed and tested for personal home, small office, one to eight bay NAS environments for large, larger applications. Please use Western Digital Red Pros hard drives. They're a little bit more expensive, but it will do what I want it to do. Basically, it wants to go into there. At the moment, I've got no hard drives in there whatsoever. Good, we've only just bought this. And that will be the start of my uh, getting things off of my computer and putting them on there. That is the idea behind the NAS drive. So what we're going to do now, obviously we're going to do the unboxing and plug her in. I'll quickly show you around it once I know you, uh, get it undone, of course. I know, I know you like to see these sort of things. And why would I go for something like this? It's purely for the size. At the moment, uh, M.2s, I think the biggest you can get is 2 terabytes which is what I've just installed inside my PC. So yeah, bubble wrap, not very well actually. The bubble wrap feels as though it's already popped. I'm a little bit disappointed in that bubble wrap actually. I thought they might have done a better job, but hopefully it won't have damaged it. But we'll see. So it comes in a static bag, or anti-static bag I should say. Right, so I'm going to have to cut that in on. So that's it, that's basically all you get. With my knife gone, move that out of the way. Mind the cat. Oh, I ain't got a cat, have I? <laughs> I mean, six terabytes, yeah. I think, well. And they do 12 terabytes. I need to get hold of 12 terabytes. So that, that is your basic hard drive. There's all your connections, so that would just slot in using them, one for power and one for connectivity. And yeah, there you go, 6 terabytes, Western Digital 60 EFRX is the uh, number for it. So the NAS, a NASWARE, it says NASWARE, that's what it says there, NASWARE 3.0. So this is the latest one, made, made in th uh, Thailand. Uh, oh, it's made in Thailand on 21st of December 2018. And I didn't know, didn't know they stamped it, but yeah, they put a stamp on it and actually told you what it's actually made. That's really nice. So yeah, first impressions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the reason we're doing all this is because my internal hard drive, which is three terabyte on this computer, I have about six hard drives in there, by the way, but one of them is for all my videos that I make. And uh, it's nearly full, full up, so I need to get it off and install it into that. So that's what we're going to do next. So it should be fairly easy. Just take it out, take these little covers off, these side covers, like so, slip them at the end. Put the hard drive in, and I do believe it goes that way, so that way to that way. It's important that you get it around the right way because it's got to make connection inside there. So I just push it in, uh, get the holes lined up, like so. so. They've got two little holes there, so just make sure you can see the holes in there. And that looks about right. You can screw them in as well if you wanted to, uh, but we're not going to be doing that because uh, we don't need to. So And then just put these plastic covers back on. These covers will actually lock it in place. Snap them in, that's that side. Right, so I've never done this before, so it's a first for me as well. But I'm looking forward to playing about with the NES and uh, this and seeing what software I'm going to use because I haven't made my mind up yet about what software I'm going to use. So that's in. And, and that looks flush, so it should not fall out, but I'm going to keep my hand over it just in case. <laughs> but it shouldn't fall out. And then basically, if you've got it around the right way, it should just slot in. And that's it. That's it. There you go. 
job done. So that's locked in. And that's where they go. So like I say, you can lock it. I've got a little key. It's only a plastic thing. But I'm not going to do that. So, you know, I've got three empty bays now. And obviously, as my storage requirements get bigger, I'll uh, add more drives. And not only that, you can actually add more of these to this. So you can do another box and then connect it on the back. So you can just keep expanding, which is very good, I think. And this is the last stage. So I've only, like, sorry, I've only got one of these. So it has to be NVMe, as far as I know. So it's easy to do. Just undo that cover. And let's see if I can show you. So basically, there's a little cut out there on one side. So that goes in at an angle. Like so. And quite easy. And then just push the back down. You don't even have to screw it on. You just push it down until it clips into place. There's this little clip here. And that's it. That's all you have to do. And obviously you've got to go into the settings and do all the settings. So I am now ready to actually turn the thing on. I've had it for about a week now. But I've been working on my videos. And doing upgrades on other stuff. So that was the final straw. So like, like I said, I'll do a recap. So we've got a, six, a Western Digital 6 terabyte. And it's a red, and that's designed for things like the NAS. If, you, if you're going to do a bigger system, you want the NAS Pro 1, or the Western Digital Pro version of this, Red Pro, I think it's called. So that's in there. These three are all empty at the moment. And as the future goes on, we will be adding more drives. So I'm not sure uh, what setup I'm going to do at the moment. Obviously, I can't use more than one drive, because I've only got one in there. So it probably won't be something like RAID 1 or something like that, or RAID 5 or 6, because I haven't got them. So it'll probably be RAID 0, I believe that would be, probably be the best one for me. But I'm going to look into it because I haven't done any raiding for quite a while now, and I can't remember all the setups. So, yeah, like I said, so we've done the cache. The cache is ready to go. The, that's what the M.2 is for. It's going to be a cache to hopefully speed processor up. We've got Cat, Cat 8 in there. So that's two cables running all the way into a switch. We need to upgrade the switch at some point. And another cable coming off that, we need to upgrade to a Cat 8. That, that's all for the future. Uh, but for now, <laughs> this is your file up. File up? This is your, this is your fire up. Oh, and uh, we upgraded the RAM as well. So, so add four, come with 4 gig, we now get 8 gig. Right, so that's working okay. Well, it says it's running. Got blue flashing light. Now we need to download the software. So um, I've got my little book out. There's not much to read in here, but it does tell you how to do it. And it is pretty easy to do. It's very simple. So now we need to go to PC Client Web Browser. And we need to down... Oh, oh, it's flashing and black. It's doing all sorts of things. It's got an orange and a green. Oh, actually, I'll tell you what it says. It's, this one is green, so obviously it's picked up, and, says, and status is orange. Obviously, we haven't done the software yet. So, uh, PC client web browser. We need to go to Synology.com, and we need to do Disk Station 5000. So, I believe that's the software we need. Ah, so that's it then. So, it's all set. It's all running. All I need to do now is obviously download the uh, software, register the product online, which is what I'm going to do right now, and uh, install the software and set it all up. So thank you for, very much for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down and please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Ta -da.